Oh, that's so cool. Oh my God. Hey guys, it's Ken. And Carol. And we are uh, just east of Kingston, Ontario, Canada at Grassy Creek Park to witness the eclipse. So I'm gonna take these off because I cannot see anything with those on. Me neither. <laughs> but we thought we'd start it off with that because that's kind of fun. Uh, we got these yesterday for free in Kingston. Carol and I have been camping nearby and these were the uh, courtesy of Queen's University. Thank you very much, Queen's University. I'm gonna keep that in my pocket for later. But uh, yeah, we're probably one of the first people at the park. Uh, they weren't gonna let anybody in until 11, but it is quarter after nine. We heard there's gonna be food trucks. The lady at the information center uh, in Kingston yesterday said that she's actually going to be working here and uh, so she kind of recommended coming here because uh, it's going to be cool lots of space open space and uh, they have food trucks so she got me on food trucks or she had me at food trucks yes anyway you want to go look around sure okay let's go so this is what it looks like so far they got some speakers setting up there's a food truck over there to the left and uh, there's a lot of washrooms all set up over there there's some vendors over behind that building so there's a lot of space yeah we're just looking around checking out the area to see where we want to be probably near the speakers because they'll probably have like announcements and stuff oh another vendor coming in to set up yummy staked out our spot and the food trucks are all going to be in here it looks like some of them still early we got uh four hours four and a bit sun right there and it will happen somewhere over here I believe and that's where we're set up right there starting our day off right with some bacon and eggs Carol's got the stuff going in the, the van that's doing scrambled eggs got lots of butter bacon eggs Carol's scrambling I'm going sunny side so we're, we're getting a, a double kind of cool thing today so far and it is only uh, quarter to 11 and we get the sun dog, which is that ring around the sun. It has nothing to do with the eclipse. It has, a, it has something to do with the clouds. That's what it looks like with the sunglasses on at the moment. So and that's as close as I can get, I think, unless I, yeah, I guess I can get that close. But then it's gonna get all crap. Of course, the band is playing Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Man. Nice touch, Kingston. Ice cream things all set up. Six dollar milkshakes, yummy. Here we got Gino's Pizza. I'm probably gonna try, sample a few things here for sure. It is a food channel. We've got shaved ice, barbecue stuff. Bubba's barbecue. We got the uh, all beef hot dog, Italian sauce. Italian sauce, my favorite. We got a bunch of tents here, giving away glasses, solar eclipse, mugs. Very cool. Oh, got a radio station happening. More glasses. Cubite butter chicken. Hello. All right, how you doing? Just looking at your menu. I was just offered offered a taste of the butter chicken. Looks like right. You're not vegan or anything. I'm like what? You're not vegan. No. Okay, we're good. He's vegan. <laughs> yeah, that is good. That looks amazing. And this one is Chana Masala, so it's a chickpea curry. Chana Masala. Hello. Very nice. Would you like a taste? I guess I'm coming back for the butter chicken. Thanks for the sample. That's really good business. When somebody's like debating on whether or not they're going to get it, give them a quick sample, and then you're like, oh, I've got to buy it now. It tastes so good. We've got uh, can cotton candy. I used to call it candy floss. Still do call it candy floss. How many people call it candy floss? We've got the police over here to keep people in check like me. Well, it's 10 to 12. Time to eat some food. So first, let's grab a drink. Got to do a milkshake. Milkshake. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? All right, how are you doing? That's very good. I know it's freezing out here, but I'm going to do a chocolate milkshake. Sure. Oh, look at that chocolate cotton chip cookie candy. dough. Like, again, out of all these flavors, uh, chocolate milkshakes are my favorite of all. I remember having this as a kid. But uh, uh, not in a milkshake, though. No, right? no, no, not in a milkshake, but 
Uh, that's Ben's favorite. Uh, I used to love this when I first came out back in the 70s. Yeah. I'm not sure if it came out in the 70s, but I just remember yeah. in the 70s, yeah. Tiger Tail. That was an awesome flavor. Yeah, a lot well, of then, people liked Tiger Tail. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then and then uh, Carol actually got me onto uh, the praline. The praline That's yeah. not everything? Yes. Six dollars. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, hey, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you. Look at that old cup. Looks kind of retro. And we have almost like a circus type straw there. Let's give it a shot. It might not come up this straw. It's kind of tiny. Mm. Very chocolatey, of course, and it is very thick. Typical like flavors of ice cream trucks, like if you've ever had a milkshake at an ice cream truck, that's exactly what it is. Now that I got my drink, let's go get a slice of pizza. Okay, what are we going to get in here, Ken? Uh, looks like a pizza slices are five dollars, hot dogs are four, uh, cheesesteak, hamburgers, wraps. Uh, I just want a, a slice of pizza. Again, I'm going to try a bunch of places here. And uh, so we'll see how much I can eat without overdoing it. This is probably like, I don't know, 800 calories. But I'm definitely going to drink all of that. Uh, I'm going to do one of your slices. What kind of slice you got? So we got cheese, pepperoni, all meat, and a vegetarian. Let's do an all meat, please. Sure, an all meat slice. $5. Yeah. Are you guys already, always portable or do you guys have a, uh, like a restaurant somewhere? We have a restaurant. Yeah. We have even a franchisee in Amherstree and Harrisburg as well. But our main restaurant is in Division Street. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, right down there? Yeah. Division Street. Yeah. By the weekly school. That looks great. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You can use some Parmesan and cheese flakes if you like. Alright. Let's do that. <laughs> it's been a while since I put Parmesan on there. I get a close up of that. What kind of meats we got on there? Um, Pepperoni, ham, sausage, and bacon. Fantastic. Thank you. Yes, thank you. All right. Gino's pizza slice, all meat going out. Look at that. It's like one of those nice, uh, sturdy type pizza slices, not floppy. They obviously cooked them off site probably this morning and then transferred them here. So it's not obviously fresh out of an oven. Nice and toasted on the bottom. How about you guys rate this for me? Um, I'm going to give it a, I would recommend. The milk chase to go out and get it now. But uh, you want a nice little light snack and you're in town. I think she said on Division Street, Gino's. Definitely not going to get a cheese pull off that, which would be nice. I'm going to finish that off and then we'll go hit another uh, food truck. Let's go. Next up is Bubba's. I'm going to be doing the Italian sausage. $6. I'm going to do the Italian sausage, please. What? Yes. So they also have the Angus Panther. There you go. So their hot dogs, five, six, eight. Drinks are two bucks. There you Hello. go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Oh, I will. You guys have sauerkraut. I'm, you I'm, can't have it without sauerkraut. I know. It's my favorite. I love what you did with the table. That's Thank a great you. idea. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that. Gonna be definitely do. I'm not sure if I can put the mustard on first. Yeah, mustard on first. There we go. Get all messy. Let some of that drip off. Load up. This stuff is so good for you. Good for the gut, apparently. Hi. And I think that's. I think maybe I would put. Um, Onions on it, but not today. Let's move so it's a little bit more quiet somewhere else. I can't wait. It's been a while since I've had an Italian sausage from a food vendor or any vendor that any restaurant it looks awesome and juicy. Mmm, I'm on right. Oh, yeah. Oh, but beef and tail's coming in. Yay. Definitely, I hit that place up. Oh, yeah. Very hot, nice and spicy. I love how they cut it, crisscross it to get all that heat from the barbecue into it as fast as possible. It's all about speed for these truck uh, vendors. Uh, I love the sauerkraut on there, and I put just the right amount of mustard on there. Mmm, and they toasted the bun, and it's a nice fresh bun too. 
I inhaled some of the mustard. <coughs> Crazy. As food trucks go, uh, this is a really good Italian sausage. If you ever see Bubba's at one of these events or any kind of event, hit them up. And I think they have a standalone restaurant in town uh, in Kingston. So give them a shot. That's a, definitely a would recommend. I talked Carol into possibly eating here because of those free samples I got and they were very tasty. I want to definitely do the butter chicken. Hello. Hello. I'm back after you guys gave me that free sample. <laughs> it tasted amazing. So, and then I brought my wife back for you guys. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. But uh, could she could she try a sample of your uh, chana masala, please? Is that how you say it? Chana. 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 So Carol's going to give it a shot because if it's too spicy, then she can't. It's okay if you drip. I'll clean up after. Mm. Thank you. What do you think? That's very good. Just let, let, wait for the kick. Yeah, it's already kicked. <laughs> it's already kicked, okay. Oh, she can't have that. Because it has dairy in it. Oh probably. no, yeah. I'm so sorry, it does. So I'm going to do a butter chicken on rice, please. Oh, that's spicy. You okay? <laughs> I think she'll live. I will. <laughs> Any specific type of rice? Basmati. Basmati? Yes, sir. Mm. Look at that, people. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and you guys have a place in town? Um, so we own a food truck called Cubite, my husband and I. Okay. We were trying to get a restaurant downtown, but um, all the landlords keep saying that they want national brands. Oh. So I am not a national brand, oh. so Arjun and I got a food truck and we found somebody to lease it to us. Oh, very nice. And we make everything in the truck by hand. We roast and grind up our own spices. Mm -hmm. Nothing comes from a can. Awesome. Yeah. That's, why I'm, that's why I'm back, because it tastes great. <laughs> But so, Q by people. Either, I won't look like this. Oh, I'll right. Be, yeah. I'll be messy with curry splashes. Oh, <laughs> nice. I love it. Yeah, it's where you mainly locate. Like, do you guys uh, like parks in a specific place? Uh, yeah, so it's 28 Bath Road. 28 Bass Road? Bath. Bath Road, okay. Yeah, right near Princess Street. All right. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your lunch. I will. <laughs> As I said. You gave me that free sample and I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day. Yes, enjoy your day. Look how much they gave me. It is full to the brim. So I, what I was, dog park off to our, our right there. So I'm gonna put that in there like that. And I've got my whole thing set up. Carol's like, do you want me to hold something for you? I'm a professional. All right, here we go. You need your tray. Oh, the steering wheel tray. All right, there's a nice big piece of buttered chicken and the basmati rice. Mm. She knows how to make a good butter chicken. Lots of flavor, lots of heat. Not crazy heat, but just enough that you just wanna keep eating it and you don't need to stop and drink water or milkshakes. Okay, let's put some on this nan or naan, just like that. There we go, look at that nice big piece of naan. They actually call it something that's not naan. They it's don't, not naan? No, something else. What do you guys call this? Kulcha. Kulcha. So it's a kulcha bread, it's very similar to a naan. Um, that's, we just don't have the the ability to make it by hand here so that's why we're serving cool chips. Tastes great. I think that's the first time I've ever had it. Yep. Really? Yeah. Yeah and there's a little bit of kasori nuts in How is this? Fantastic. Yeah? yeah. Oh that makes you so happy. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch. Hopefully. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna do a few more bites just for you and just for you. All right, guys, I am loving this butter chicken so much. I'm going to have to give it a 1 o'clock in the morning shout-out bite to every single one of you, men and women out there who love to watch my videos at 1 o'clock in the morning. We don't know what you do, but you do this amazing bite at a solar eclipse event. It's just for you. Mm. That is so good. Give it a shot. Hmm. Let's go watch the solar eclipse now. What'd you get? A hamburger. Oh. Well, an Angus burger. An umbaga. Oh, no. Thank you. What does Carol like on her umbaga? <laughs> That's it? Well, Very adventurous. Mayonnaise. Right, Lots of sriracha. Two hot dogs, correct? So there's one sausage. 
Gotcha. Pickles. Looks like a nice Angus patty there. Yep. Oh, sauerkraut. Get like, the sauerkraut in. Like you said, it's good for you. Very good for you. Carol's going in. Give this a try. Bubba's burger. Angus burger. Yeah? Just like a burger. Is it juicy? It's good. Yeah, yeah it's it looks not, juicy. Not dry. Not dry. Mm -hmm. and the bun looks pretty fresh, it's too. Mm -hmm. Yummy? It's good. What would you rate it? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. That's Carol's rating. Thumbs up. Uh, after Carol finishes that, I think we're going to go and uh, visit. Maybe after the solar eclipse, we'll do the uh, beaver tails. Why after? Give us, give us some time to digest all the food I just ate. No, 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 no. Okay. As soon as Carol's finished that, we're going for it. Well, something to get cloud cover. But we got uh, about 15, 20 minutes. Before it happens, unfortunately, might not see it. Definitely get dark here though. So it has started, but uh, we got some cloud cover happening. Not seeing too much. I can barely like pinpoint the sun there. But uh, this is what it looks like. And I guess an hour and a bit, it will be nighttime. So it started. almost three and uh it's it's getting there it's getting there eight minutes to go that cloud's moving in right here and hopefully it doesn't cover it up but it's starting to get darker and darker and colder and colder for sure we're getting close like within three minutes it's getting darker and darker. Wow, darkness. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh no. That is so cool. It's gonna get darker. Oh neat. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my God. Oh, this camera just doesn't do a good enough job, man. Look around. That's freaking awesome, man. So awesome. Pitch darkness. <laughs> Neato. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. The ring. All you see is everybody's cell phones. Yeah. And if there was no clouds, we'd be able to see the uh, planets on either side of it. This is crazy. One of the coolest things ever. And it's starting to get brighter along the horizon there. Out. <laughs> Neat. 
We did it. Eclipse is over. It was phenomenal. See the uh, the ring of light around the moon. Yes. That was phenomenal. But it is now time for a beaver tail. Carol, Carol already had one. Oh yeah. So she had the uh, regular cinnamon one. Yes. I'm gonna try something different because I always get the banana, yes. banana rama. I was so. thinking about having a yummy bite of yours. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. I'll try something different. What are you gonna have? I'm gonna do the uh, cocoa vanilla. It's uh, Oreo cookies and vanilla icing. Hello, how are you? All right, I'm gonna do the uh, cocoa vanilla. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, no thanks. Uh, can you? Ten? Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, got it. Gonna look this way because. That's the way to present it. And we'll put our hand underneath a little bit, pull it out just a little bit so you can see how yummy oh, yeah. that is going to be. Delicious. Look I can that. smell it. All right, guys, first time eating the uh, cocoa vanilla. So it's basically a big flat donut. They deep fry it, and you put all those toppings on that you want. Look at that. I don't think I've ever done a build my own or anything, but again, my favorite is the uh, Nutella and uh, banana. This is pretty good. Yeah. As many people know, I used to love Oreos. That was the cookie I had in our house at all times. I'd often get it as uh, part of my Christmas presents. <laughs> do, I guess. My stocking stuffers and some Oreo. So, uh, again, it's nice and hot. Uh, it's got some crispies along the edge. Uh, your typical, like, deep fried dough. And uh, just the toppings that are on here are good. Uh, again, the, the banana one is better, but I'm so glad I, I tried something new this time out. And I'm gonna take one more bite, and then I'll let Carol have some. You want a bite? Well, sure. That was a better bite. Got more ice cream, more cookie. Yeah, look at. And I got some chocolate drizzle and some vanilla icing in that bite. Yeah. So we'll turn the, the camera around on Carol, and she can give it a shot. How do I do this? Can you turn it around. Yeah, try your best. It's, it's not the easiest thing to eat. Now there's no line, jeez. Earlier on, there was at least 50 to 60 people in line. Mm, that's good. Was it better than yours? Carol just had the straight up cinnamon yeah. sugar, which is probably, you know, if you're gonna try one of these for the very first time, that's probably the one you wanna try. Kinda like a poutine, go traditional. Mm -hmm. But again, my biggest recommendation is banana and Nutella. I think we should get another one. Maybe. Bananas and Nutella. All right, guys, the event is pretty much over. I think the band plays till five. It's about quarter after four, but I had an amazing time. Yes. I'm so glad we got here. I'm so glad the clouds stayed away as far as long as they could yep. and uh, enjoyed all the food that I ate. Yeah. Uh, if I was to come back here again and they had the exact same event, I'd definitely have a beaver tail and uh, yep. Italian sausage. Those would be my two things I'd definitely have again. You? I would definitely have a beaver tail. <laughs> yes, a beaver tail is a, a definitely a hit. Yep. Anyway, so we have a little drive back to our campsite. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Yep. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.